and welcome to this edition of Utah Business Matters, your weekly television window to small business here in the state of Utah. And we begin today with Creative Wigs. They've been helping people who experience hair loss since 1965, and it is a family affair. It started with my mother because she had beautiful hair and she always wanted it put up in a twist and big barrel curls on the top. And so I was the one that did that on her. So by the time I was in high school, I was ready to do something with hair or I found out wigs eventually. So by the time I was ready to go to college at BYU, I had a clientele and I was ready to put myself through college and my husband through college doing wigs. There was just so many people that we were helping and it was so exciting that we decided to take it out of our home and put it in a full-fledged shop. But I began in 1965 in high school doing wigs. So I've done them now, figure it out, 46 years. And it was my dream to help women look better and feel younger. And that became our theme look better and feel younger and come to Creative Wigs and let us spend some time with you and help you find exactly what you need. And they're so much more comfortable than they ever used to be. And some of them will have lace all around the front so that they look very, very natural. And so we can satisfy anyone's needs, no matter what their hair loss problem is. Also have two locations here in the Wasatch front area and one sister shop down in uh, St. George. It's a personal thing to wear a wig. It takes a while to get comfortable in wearing one because you, you know it's a wig, but every wig that I've bought here, no one knows they're a wig. A woman's hair is her crowning glory. And when the, a lot of them say to us, I'd rather lose any other part of my body than lose my hair. When they come in, we talk with them and ask them if they have worn wigs before, if this is a new experience for them. Uh, they usually volunteer whether they're going through chemotherapy or what their hair loss problem is. Sometimes they want a big change and sometimes they don't want any kind of change. And so that's kind of where we have to begin. When they buy their wig here, they take our receipt and put it with their um, doctor's recommendation prescription for a hair prosthesis then they turn that into their insurance company. We can get something to help anyone for just an in-between price. We don't have to be, it doesn't have to be really expensive. The goal would make them feel normal and natural. I think the best part of working at a place like this is that I get to help people on a daily basis um, deal with troubles that they're going through in their life, um, whether it be male pattern baldness or whether it be cancer, alopecia, trichotillomania. There's all sorts of different things that people have to deal with and they turn to us for answers. At the same time, I don't feel like it's ever looked like a hairpiece, so I never worry about it. There's never been anyone in my entire time of wearing it that ever said, gee, I like your hairpiece. A wig is fun. You can get up in the morning, put on your makeup and throw on your hair and go. It saves me an hour every day just getting ready to go and I look better that I would have if I would have spent that hour fixing my own hair. I'll bring my wig here and they'll wash it. I'll come pick it up and you can wash them at home too. And they make a curling iron now that you can curl synthetic hair with. Where before it was just, um, if you curled synthetic hair with a curling iron, it melted. Some of our vendors, we've been with them for so long that they send the wigs out to us before they go out on the market, before they go on the internet, before they're in their catalogs. And so we have the newest fashions before they're even out there for anyone else to see. She had a crib in the back. And that's where I would like have my naps and whatever. So I've been around it since I was born. As an entrepreneur, I did it all, but I'm pulling back a little bit. At this point, she could retire and just walk away from it, but she chooses to stick around and make the business work and assist us in becoming the best that we can be. I, I feel good here. I feel like 
I have, there's a positive energy and I feel comfortable here. They have already committed now to be managers for both of my stores. And so they've been doing and wearing wigs for years. And so this comes naturally to them. I like to work with people and I like to make a difference in people's lives. So, and this actually does make a difference in people's lives. The most rewarding part of all this is somebody can come in and sit in the chair in tears because they've lost their hair. But when they come in, we can go from tears to, you know, a feeling of renewed hope and joy and inspiration. I have custom pieces of jewelry. All the pieces that I bring in are really unique. We have clip-in extensions that just, you can either do like a two layer, or we have like a 10 piece system, and we either have human hair or synthetic hair. We volunteer actually with the American Cancer Society, and we have done that now for 17 years. And we go every Maybe month a couple. and take, all of, take a lot of wigs and hats, and uh, try them on the cancer patients, let them see how they, can, it, how they can feel better about themselves. And the Cancer Society also gives away a wig to each person, so that gives them an option if they cannot afford a good, a good wig to be able to have something that they can uh, wear. We are transgender friendly, and so it's, anybody can come in, and we are happy to be of help. I love my job and my girls that work for me love their jobs. We hope that cancer will be cured and we know that we will still have people that will want to wear wigs because it's just fun. It hasn't been a big money maker possibly, but it has been rewarding and every one of our girls that work for us feel that way. I just want to be here. I just love being here and interacting with the ladies that need us so much.